Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. And these are going to be messages for my dearest Leos. Leos, I'm going to be reading your energy on the left. The person that you're thinking of most or that you're energeti energetically linked to on the right. And we're going to see what's happening down the middle between you guys. At any point in time, feel free to swap the energies that I may be picking up on. And I also urge you guys to play with time. This could be a past connection, a current situation, or an energy that's moving towards you in the next couple of weeks. So as I'm doing this reading, I'm going to ask that you guys like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Take a moment to check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading. Or if you like the cards that I'm using, I have them listed and linked in order of appearance. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into this. Um, guys, feel free to leave a comment and don't forget to ring that notification bell if you guys want to get updates whenever I'm uploading new content, which I do quite frequently. All right, so Leos, let's go ahead and see what's going on between you and your person. Messages for my Leos, please. What's going on between you and your person? All right, so we do have the chariot card in reverse and we have the four of cups. So some of you guys could be feeling really stuck in a situation. Um, some of you might be, you know, might be feeling rejected or you might have rejected somebody's offer. Again, you could be dealing with a cancer or you could be a cancer Leo cusp. Some of you guys just might be feeling bored and discontent with the current situation, whether that's being single or you're in a commitment that's kind of... Um, not really moving or uh, moving forward here. Okay, messages for my Leos, please. Okay, so we see the Four of Swords. Okay, so Leos, I definitely see you guys, you're ready. Either you guys have been in a state of healing, either from a past connection, or maybe you've been on a pause from somebody currently, but it's like you're ready to move things forward. And that's that energy I was picking up on that chant, that Cancer Chariot card in reverse, like feeling stuck, Four of, four of Cups, um, wanting to reach out. There may be an offer coming towards you or maybe you're just ready to get back out there or to get things going or to heal this particular situation. Um, but you see your person as the Seven of Wands. So you might see your person is still kind of defensive. You could be dealing with a Aries Leo Sag person, but I also feel like there's nobody else for you. So I definitely feel like you have your eye on this person or you've been in a connection with them already. And you see them as the person that really stands out in the crowd, the person that's like the best option for you. The person, it's like you only have eyes for this person. And many of you guys want to heal this or come back together. Some of you may be dealing with a Virgo or a Pisces, but with the High Priestess energy, it's very similar to this Four of Swords energy. You're ready for movement. I think you guys feel very spiritually connected to your person, um, but I think you guys have also been holding back. And what I'm seeing is you don't want to hold back anymore with this High Priestess. You want to take things to the next level. You know what you want. You've received the messages, the downloads that you need where you want this connection to go but you are seeing your person still as being a little bit defensive. Maybe some of you guys were also a little bit on the fence whether or not you wanted to move forward with this person, but I do see you're seeing them as your best option or your best match. So your person it has definitely gone through some sort of painful ending. It could be with you, Leo. It could be that you guys are in separation and your person is going to come in with some sort of communication or they're trying to heal from whatever happened between you guys or they're also completely open to either receiving communication from you or, um, or you know, closing out a very difficult cycle here. Um, they're seeing you as the Page of Swords. So Leo, I feel like they're waiting for you to make the next move. I feel like they're waiting. Maybe you ask for time, okay? Or maybe that you're the one who pulled your energy back. Um, they see you as the Page of Swords. Again, you guys could be following each other on social media. There could be a very spiritual, sort of highly intuitive telepathic connection between you. Okay, and they're seeing the relationship as, yeah, they have a lot of regrets here, Leo. They want to come out of the cold. They want to come in and make you a love offer, but I feel like they're watching and waiting to see what you're going to do, that they've, they've pulled back their energy. I do see two people, you know, sort of on the offense 
rather, I see two people on the defense, sorry about that, um, you know, because we see the Seven of Swords, he's holding a wand, your person is holding a sword or vice versa. It's like there's some sort of throwdown or some sort of battle. I feel like it's going to be verbal or it was or that's what took place. Both of you may have separated because of this or created some sort of emotional distance, but I see that both of you kind want to come back together. That's what I'm seeing. So we have the Four of Pentacles. So you could be... Um, this could be this energy of both of you kind of holding back here. Somebody here might need to do do something here, change their behaviors, their their traditions, their traditional way of behaving or their beliefs, um, because I feel like it's really important that you guys see each other's side of the story. The Two of Cups, very strong connection. There's possibility for a new beginning, but I definitely see that you guys are currently in separation here. And the King of Swords, for some of you, <clears throat> this is an ex-partner. For some of you guys, you could even be divorced or you're thinking about getting a divorce. Or there's some sort of legal issues between you guys, but it's like, I feel like they're, they're want, they want resolution and so do you. Now, let's see if that's about coming back together. Because I do feel like this person has a lot of regret. Um, they definitely experienced a painful ending or maybe they feel regret in, um, you know, causing some sort of heartbreak. There could have been like a third party situation or some sort of betrayal or disappointment, but I'm not really picking up on this being like a third energy, like they, they cheated on you, that type of energy. I feel like more it was like either a clash of egos here with the Four of Pentacles or somebody just didn't want to sort of change their traditions and their beliefs and their behaviors overall energy ace of pentacles so there is possibility here leo for a brand new beginning and for stability but there's something definitely that needs to be resolved and i'm getting really strong throat chakra energy um, that throat chakra energy there might be a fear of rejection or indifference um, or you know just maybe an escalation because i feel like something here was very sort of passionate but now it's gone really into the mental body with all of this swords energy. So there's a lot of overthinking, a lot of reviewing what happened, what went wrong, maybe strategizing about how to sort of change, how to come back together. You know, the king of swords is somebody who's very generous, very truthful, and very authentic. So there does need to be a, you know, a, a very sort of important conversation, you know, heart to heart conversation where you guys get to speak your truths. Yeah. Look at this eight of wands. This is my card of law of attraction and manifestation. It's about love. It's about communication. So Leo, what I'm seeing here is some of you guys, this could be a long distance connection or there's definitely distance between you guys and you may currently not be in communication with that eight of soul, eight of wands energy. Um, you know, I feel like you are also a little bit defensive because I feel like you guys either had an argument or you said things that you didn't mean, or maybe you did. You spoke some really truth, some heart, some harsh truths that were kind of a hard pill to swallow, but I feel like it was on both sides. All right. So let's see, you see your person as the seven of wands. So, you know, you see them as kind of defensive, but I also see you as like you looking at them as like they beat out all the competition though, even despite any issues you might have. It's like, I feel like you there's nobody that measures up to them. Again, feel free to swap the energies. But there's an energy of confusion, whether or not this person is going to be open and receptive to communication, to be authentic, to talk to you. Or maybe you're just feeling confused because of everything that's happened between you guys. So you might be worried that they're not going to... You know, somebody here could be blocked is what I'm getting, or somebody here could be, um, yeah, like somebody here is blocked or they're not talking to you or vice versa, right? Because I'm getting it. It could be from both sides. You could both be kind of ignoring each other because I both see you guys sort of holding, you know, being in that defensive energy, one holding a sword, the other one holding a stick <laughs> or this big wand. I'm not laughing, but... You know, because I also feel like there is a lot of love here, but there's also a lot of holding back. And so for in order to have success here, somebody's going to have to reach out first. I feel like you are ready, Leo, to take steps to do that. Okay. And this person, they definitely, they definitely experience some sort of pain or disappointment or sadness um, as a result of what's happened between you guys or what's currently happening. And they feel definitely some sort of regret. So if you're worried about whether or not this person will read your message or will be open to speaking to you, I really do feel that they will. Although some of you guys are giving them space. If you feel like you feel regret about something that happened or that you said, or that, that you did, I do feel like this person is, is quite emotional at this time. Okay. It could be you though, Leo. And we get the Knight of Cups in reverse. Yeah. So I think, Leo, many of you guys are just sitting here. You're trying to clear the air, trying to be like, what is going on here? 
Where do we stand? Are you committed to this? Do you want to heal this? Because I feel like more than anything, Leo, you're ready to move forward, but you want answers. You want clarity. You want to know one way or the other. Are we going to work this out? You know, um, you know, are you going to make a commitment to me? Are you committed to healing this? Um, you know, but we need to talk. That's the energy I'm getting. Like, let's talk. I feel like you're probably more ready for that than your person because I feel like your person is a lot more emotional or a lot more reactive um, or they're feeling a little bit embarrassed about what happened or what they did or what they said. That's what I'm getting. But it's also been very painful for them, this ending. Okay, they might be the ones who are reaching out to you with communication. And again, you might be feeling a little bit confused and defensive, um, depending on how they reach out to you. Some of you guys, you might not trust their intentions. Um, if there was some sort of betrayal or you feel like there's some sort of player, you might not really believe what it is that they have to say to you, Leo. So the Ten of Swords here in reverse, we get, all right, the Six of Pentacles. So I do feel like this person's going to come in. Um, they want to tell you if they, were, if they weren't putting a, a lot of effort into this connection before, um, that they do, they might be coming in to offer you a gift, or this gift could be clarity, closure, healing, moving on. Um, but I do feel like for some of for some of you, they might actually send you a gift, whether it's jewelry or whether it's like, hey, you know, can we talk? Let's, you know, even if, I mean, I know a coffee isn't really a gift, but I feel like they might give you some sort of token, some sort of amulet, some sort of piece of jewelry, something that's quite sentimental. Because I do feel like your person is, you know, is quite sentimental about this connection and really in their feels about what happened or about this breakup or about this argument or this disagreement. There's definitely possibility here for a new beginning, but this definitely, this is something that has to be worked out. All right. So they're seeing you as the page of swords, um, and the temperance energy. So Sagittarius energy coming through really strong here. Um, but I'm also seeing here that they feel like there's some sort of imbalance. I think they're a little bit unsure about whether or not you're open to healing this because look, I'm seeing these two cups both and also with the temperance card, you can see there are these two cups there. They're, I feel like they're waiting for communication. Okay. Maybe they're asking, maybe they've asked you, Leo, um, you know, if you want to put time and energy, if you will forgive them, if you can forgive them, if you want to work on this, you know, and you might have just said, hey, I, I need some time. You might be holding back from them. Um, I'm also feeling like, um, you know, with the temperance card in reverse, there's a need to be patient with this person, Leo. Uh, you might be getting a little bit impatient, um, especially if they're either a little bit younger than you, or maybe they don't have, um, you know, the emotional maturity that you, you have. Um, so it's like, I feel like they also pick up that you're a little bit impatient with them. Um, the time that they either need to heal or to come towards you. Um, or I feel like also there's something here about them having to change their traditions or their beliefs, um, or the way that they, the way that they communicate with you or the way that they do things. Um, this, you might have given them like a number of warnings, Leo, in different sort of ways. Like, you know what, you're going to, you know, you need, this is something that needs to stop. For some of you, it could have been that they were flirtatious, that they, you know, like to receive sort of compliments and you know attention from other people okay that might have been like the last straw I'm not necessarily seeing this person cheating though but there's some sort of behavior that I think you found frustrating or you grew impatient with um, or they're just picking up on you being a little bit impatient about you know trying to get answers so the five of cups in in reverse is like regret sadness and sorrow um, some sort of grief. Um, and I feel like because they weren't putting a lot of energy into this connection. So this person, I feel like this person is seeing things differently, Leo. They're seeing that maybe you were the one that was doing all the heavy lifting in this relationship that you were asking for, or maybe even you, you told them like, I need some sort of higher level of commitment, or I need you to, you know, put some work into this connection. And they're seeing that. I think they're really regretting the fact that they didn't. They may have put work over you. They may have put friends over you. There, or they may have just been putting their energy into something else other than this connection. And that's what I'm seeing here, Leos. Many of you guys got frustrated and you pulled your energy back or you broke up with this person or you stopped talking to this person. And they're, they're really regretting not, you know, taking their time and offering you some sort of stability. So this four of pentacles, I almost see both of you kind of mirroring each other, um, trying to figure out, strategize how to fix this or what it is that you truly want. But I feel like both of you are also holding back. There's somebody here or both of you that are really protecting your heart. And we get the four of cups in reverse. Wow. So the four of cups in reverse is some sort of unexpected love offer or communication. This could either be from you or from them, Leo. But what I'm seeing here is this person does want to open up to you. 
I do see that both of you are seeing that there may be things that you have to change um, or you have to take a different approach if you guys want this to work. Um, again, many of you guys are seeing things different, like behaviors, um, cultures, traditions, beliefs that need to change here so that you guys can find some sort of middle ground um, if you want to heal this. I mean, some of you guys, you don't. But let's see what this Two of Cups in Reverse is for my dearest Leos. Okay, we get the Empress energy. Wow, so Leo, I feel like they're, they they really do. They see you as the one. Um, it may have take it may have taken losing you in order to see that that there was something here that they needed to change that they can't come they can't come to you in an energy of like a knight of cups or like I'm getting like in the energy of like a page when you're sitting there as the empress Taurus and Libra energy you could have children with this person um, you know this person I feel like they they do really want to heal things I think they're a little bit worried about communicating with you either that you know what I'm getting is like with this ace of swords is like you might cut their head off you know, like off with their head type energy or the king of swords, like they're, that you might be ready for battle. They might be worried about what you have to say to them, Leo, because I feel like they know that there was some sort of mistake that they made or they're disappointed in themselves and the way that they behaved or they're looking back at this connection and they're seeing that they weren't giving um, or they weren't reciprocating that it wasn't an equal exchange, but with the Empress in the middle, I do see that you've been holding yourself in high regard, so you're definitely manifesting. I also feel like this person has been triggered to sort of learn a lesson, okay, or that you've been teaching them a lesson. I feel like unknowingly, not like you're sitting there, like I'm teaching this person a lesson, but pulling your energy back, holding yourself in high regard. I don't even feel like, I don't feel like you're gonna fight. I think you just want clarity. And the Empress does just that. She's not gonna fight any battles. She's not gonna participate in any sort of needless drama. So she's gonna get she's gonna be in this King of Swords energy as well. But I want it, I want it, I want you to talk to me straight up so I can know what to do. So it's a very sort of all business type attitude. It's a very mature attitude that you're taking towards this person, Leo. And what I'm seeing here is look at that. We see the fool after heartbreak and the star Aquarius energy. I'm going to keep all of them. So I feel like you're taking a really realistic approach here, Leo. I feel like many of you guys are open to a new beginning. We see the 10 of wands in reverse, closing out a difficult cycle. You're ready to start something new. Um, some of you guys may be turning your back on this person, okay? If there was a third party situation or you realize there was some sort of betrayal, you're holding yourself in high regard and you're getting ready for some sort of new energy to come into your life. But for some of you, that new energy is this relationship, but it really does depend what they say to you and if they're coming back to you in this energy of, you know what, I wanna heal things. Um, if they're coming back to you and non-confrontational manner is what I'm also getting because I do see you being open to new beginnings you know turning your back on any heartbreak or sadness that was you know within this connection and the star card is again about healing so for many of you if you want to heal this connection I'm seeing that that's definitely a possibility here okay Leo but for others of you you're ready to turn your back and close out a cycle if this person was a player or they were kind of emotionally immature you're kind of like you know what I just kind of want to have I just want to speak my truth I want to clear the air you know there was something I didn't get to say say to you on my way out the door okay Okay, because there's something new and beautiful coming your way. So you guys, there's two different stories coming through. Take which resonates and leave what doesn't. It's a very empowered energy, especially with the Empress right here in the middle of the, the heart of the reading. So Angel of Balance, beautiful. So 48 breaks down to a three. So you guys have definitely experienced some sort of evolution here. Like you're holding yourselves in high regard. You're realizing we're seeing this balance energy come out twice. Something here was imbalanced, okay? Maybe this person was extending their lighthearted energy to others or flirting or liked attention from others. Um, there is potential though. It could be that this is a strong soul contract soulmate it could even be your twin flame is what i'm getting here but what i'm seeing here is it's up to you leo you know how much you're willing to forgive and forget in this scenario or in this connection spirit saying balance is the most important so continuing in an imbalanced situation is just going to bring frustration and resentment look at that so we get three three energies here of the scale so i really do feel like this is definitely some sort of soul contract that you have with this person that's why it's been so difficult to either get like get them out of your mind or to 
move away from this connection. And for some of you guys, you might be married to this person. Um, you guys might share assets. You guys might share a business. Um, so I do feel like, but I also feel like this is destiny. Okay. So for many of you guys, you know, you will be healing and repairing this connection and things will be brought into balance, but it's going to take, look at that, this storm, this ending, you have three tens coming out. So pay attention if you're looking at the clock at 10, 10, or you see this repeating number sequence, sequence, um, 10, 10, 10 popping up all over the place. There's been some sort of fight, some sort of argument, um, some sort of separation. I feel like it did get kind of heated, but now you guys are both sort of, you know, in your head about it. And it's really spirits like there's a need for you guys to sort of clear the air, um, to hash it out, to have some very clear, authentic communication um, and decide, you know, is this where, you, do you want a new beginning or are you turning your back on a difficult situation? Okay. And we get man holding a coin. I feel like Leo, your person definitely wants to invest in this connection with you. I feel like they have a lot of regret and heartbreak and sadness and sorrow, but there is love between you. All right. Some of you guys, again, you might share assets, you might share a home, and that might be just sort of delaying the process for those of you who want to walk away because maybe this person just can't give you the stability that you're looking for. But for many of you guys, this person does want to try. They do want to invest. Okay. But I do feel like you're going to have some intense conversations with this person maybe some heated emails or messages going back and forth about what happened because I do feel like both of you have been really thinking about it, mulling it over and there's this energy that needs to be released in order for you guys to, you know, heal this and find a common ground. So we do get envy coming out here. So again, somebody here, you know, Leo, this person may have, um, you know, may have felt like you were a little bit out of their league is what I'm getting. So they might be sort of, maybe they weren't putting any time or, or effort into this connection because they felt like maybe you had it all or that you were too good for them. That's what I'm getting here with that envy card. It's it's kind of weird. Um, you know, they might have felt like they were, you know, because what I'm getting here is this person, they feel like they're in the shadows and Leo energy is the sun that you shine so bright. Okay. And that maybe like they just felt like, I don't know, that they, that somehow it was balancing the playing field by not giving you the attention that you deserve or putting as much into this connection. So it's kind of like an ego based energy. It's kind of an energy of needing to mature. Again, you guys are going to know if that's an energy that you want to invest in or not, because some of you guys will be taking a new path and moving on to a new person and closing out this difficult cycle. For some of you, this is a karmic situation. Okay. You guys are going to know that, but with all of the scales energy it's like karma is being balanced out so that's going to mean different things to different people because you know we can this can be with our twin flame where we're healing and clearing karma in a difficult cycle between you know within our relationship so that we can actually come together so we get different pages you and this person don't share the same vision wow yep and i feel like that definitely caused this heartbreak this separation it's a past life love your soul remembers this intense connection so this isn't your first go around with this person leo um retreat time alone in nature will help you recharge whoa 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 so definitely there's some sort of uh separation here leo and we get true love, but this love is emotional, physical, and unconditional. So th there is a lot of love here, but I feel like it's kind of hard to see past, you know, whatever this difficulty is. I do feel like this person does want to invest in you, especially if they weren't investing in you in the past. I feel like this separation, they're seeing you as the empress, somebody who has it all. You know, even if they left you and they moved on or, or they you know, or they just weren't putting any energy into this connection, they're going to be seeing you very, very differently. Look at that. We get balance. Oh my goodness. Balance, balance, balance. So look at this energy. Go slow. Take time to get to know each other. All right. So again, maybe you guys were just sort of kicking things off together. There was some sort of disagreement or, you know, I feel like maybe too, like maybe this person was trying to impress you. So they were just sort of like trying not to, you know, appear weak again, because I do get like a strong ego energy off of your person, but I'm also getting that they do that um, because they don't want to show you how vulnerable that they really truly are. And that's what I'm picking up with this envy card. Like they might've felt like you were out of their league or that your light shines so bright that they didn't have enough to really offer for you. So in order to sort of balance the playing field there, I know it sounds kind of weird and, um, you know, but people do this, you know, but it comes from a place of hurt and it comes from a place of ego, like not giving you the attention that you deserve because feeling like you get it from everybody else or that like, you know, if, if they let you know how much they truly feel and how much they truly love you, I mean, because it's emotional, physical and unconditional, then, you know, you would somehow have the upper hand again, Leo, you guys decide if that's an energy that you want to play with. 
okay or you want to have in your life but with children here some of you may have children with this person um, for others of you, again, they may not have been able to, they may have regrets because they had other sort of obligations and they weren't able to give the time and energy to this connection that, um, that they wanted to. I also feel that you might, there might be an age difference between you guys, or sometimes you see this person's actions and behaviors as childish, but I do get this as a soulmate energy and kind of a joy and a fun energy, a sweet energy that you guys do share together. So love yourself first. So I do feel like this is what you're doing. You're putting yourself in that Empress energy, holding yourself in high regard, healing family issues. So if you guys want to heal this connection, I absolutely see that it, that it is possible, especially if you guys were married or, and you're separated or maybe you have a divorce or you have children with this person and then we get playfulness so look at that so with this energy of playfulness what I'm getting here though is you know it's it's an interesting sort of download I get with this card and it's coming through in this reading as well that this person they have a lot of regret I feel like they're very emotional they feel badly for the way they treated you or for what they did or didn't do when you guys were together and this playfulness energy though is I also feel like there's an energy there's like a there's an air of intimidation when it comes to you Leo like feeling like you're this empress like you have it all um so they might be a little bit nervous about reaching out and whenever I get this playfulness card I kind of feel like you know listen to what they have to say like and, and again with that king of swords energy I'm kind of getting this like off with their head like they're worried that you're going to cut them down or you're going to be indifferent or you're going to reject them which is completely up to you Leo obviously and it depends on like what you know what happened between you guys but if you guys do want a chance with this person or to heal this I do feel like it's important that you really sort of allow them to be vulnerable um, make it comfortable for them okay that doesn't mean that you like you lower yourself or your standards or your boundaries um, maybe you do a little bit just lower your guard and just listen to what they have to say okay so it's important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone instead of placing your focus on another now is the time to give to yourself yeah, and that's that love yourself first energy. And I really feel you coming out as the empress, holding yourself in high regard. That's going to, you know, probably call this person back in energetically, to be honest. Criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are, and your relationship will magically transform. So that's the energy I was picking up off of this playfulness and this king of swords energy. So make sure it doesn't sort of go back into like a tit for tat or just criticizing. Make sure that you guys get to, you know, you get to have that full conversation conversation. All right, we get beware of what you're projecting for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. So this could be a mirrored soulmate energy. Double confirmation of playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together and remember, love is the greatest healer. So again, you guys might need some time and space between whatever's gone on between you guys because I do feel like you guys are going to be able to laugh about it in the future, whether you guys remain friends and you're co-parenting um, and this is healing enclosure or whether this is about you guys really coming back together so spirit saying new beginning a new adventure awaits embrace it and live your dreams passionately so Leo's you guys choose is this your ex is this somebody you have children with or is this somebody that you know and or is this somebody that you want to heal things with because some of you you absolutely are going to heal things and it's just a very difficult cycle Okay, you could be dealing with an earth sign. Look at that, 10 of cups, family, happiness. But there's some some sort of miscommunication that needs to be cleared up with the magician Virgo and Gemini energy coming through here as well. But I do see that there's a beautiful new beginning, especially if you guys have a family with this person. Okay, that's what I'm getting. But remember, you guys, trust your intuition. You guys know best. All right, I'm going to leave it there. I love you guys so much. Thank you for listening. Have a beautiful day. Take care.